Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at how to do form validations. By default, Django comes with um, form validations. Like if I want to add uh, an item into the database and I leave it blank, you can see all of these ones, IP address, MAC address, locations are all are validated by default, right? So if you look at the form, the, the, the model, any field that did not have blank equals two will be validated automatically by Django. So if I want to turn off that validation like what we saw in the previous video, we just have to add blank equals false. But before I do that, if I click save, you can see all these fields with the um, asterisk uh, saying this field is required. This is um, the validation that comes with Django. But if you want to do your own custom validation, you can turn off this by um, typing blank equals false and I'm gonna do that to all of them and I'm gonna use my own um, validation messages like one of the validation uh, messages I want to show you is like if I type a computer that is already in the database if I want to add another computer and that name is already added like if I go to computer list we have a computer uh, which is Jello.SPC. PC if I want to add a computer which is having the same name let's say if I type Jello.SPC. PC now fill the rest of the form and I click save it will tell me a computer with the name Jalada's PC is already added so this is the validation that we want to go through in this video the same thing is done for IP address if I add in any IP which is already in the database it will tell me this IP a computer with the IP address 1.1.1.1 is already added so this is very simple so just um, copy the code copy and paste modify and you'll get the same results all right so let's get started all right so head to the blog site and go to django 21 form validation step number one is to copy this validation code and paste it in forms.py paste it in computer form class and make sure it's aligned is in line with the class the model class all right so we will paste this function and the function will have clean computer name this is going to be the field that you want to validate the field name equals self dot clean data dot get that and then you bring up the field name and if computer name equals equals blank raise form validation error this field cannot be left blank so this is my custom validation and if i leave the if i save this and i leave the the um computer um, uh, name field blank and I press enter all right we have an error so let's see what the error is saying it says expected an indented block now this always happens when you copy and paste code to identify where the error is use your mouse to select you can see the previous ones are having tabs and this one is having like kind of a space you can see all these periods um, will cause this code to have an issue now what you can do to fix this is to select this block and shift tab and then tap inside and then select all these other ones shift tab shift tab again and then tab tap twice make sure you align them again properly and this is the only one with the periods I'm gonna select that as well and then press shift and then press tab key on my keyboard I'll, I'll press a combination of shift and tab key and then tab it inside you can see now all of them are having lines so I have one more to take care of I'm gonna select select that shift tab twice and then tab twice all right so all of them are tabs instead of spaces I'm gonna um, run the server again and then this and you can see the server is now running so I'm gonna um, click refresh and I'm gonna leave the computer name blank and click save you can see uh, we have the message that I want um, to appear on my phone this field cannot be left blank and that's the validation that is coming right from here this field cannot be left blank alright so this is how you do validation I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, um, IP address MAC address username and location I'm gonna copy that same code paste it and then um, change the field names this one is IP address 
and make sure your um, field name, the names that you're using here is the same case um, with the one that you have in the um, model the py file so if, it's, if you look at this ip address the ip is all caps and that's what i'm going to use here and this computer name i'm gonna i'm gonna select all computer names and then paste them with ip address and save it then i can go and click save again you can see the same thing is um ip address is also validated do the same thing for all other fields that you want to validate now another validation that i want to show you is i want the application to check in the database and see if that item is already added it's supposed to tell us that this is already added and it's supposed to prevent us from duplicating that name and to do that after this condition we're gonna um, write a follow-up that will look into the database to pull out all the information or all the objects that are in the database and now we can do a test and see whether the name that we are supplying is already in the database or not so the follow-up will be like this for instance in the model name uh, the, the, the model is called computer for instance in computer the objects dot all this will now check into the database It's gonna run and check in the database and for each of those items uh, we want to do a test now the test will be if instance that computer name equals equals computer name so now this instance is the one that is coming from the database this instance that computer is the one that is fetched from this database okay now we're gonna check we're gonna see whether that is equals to what we um supply to the form that is the one that's assigned to this variable and that variable will be the, the content of that variable will be whatever we typed in this form and we click save all right so now if the one that is in the database is equal to what we typed in the form then we're gonna raise this um error we're gonna raise um forms dot validation validation error and then we will type the message that we want the users of the application to see there is a computer with the name then um, space i'm gonna bring the variable computer name there is a computer named that uh, we're gonna concatenate whatever message plus the variable itself so if i save it and i go to the form and i type download spc press enter it says there is a computer with the name download spc so we have a typo there there is a computer with the name download spc all right so that's how you do form validation and that's how you compare the item or the content that you want to supply in the database whether it's the same with the uh, one that is in the database you can do the same thing for the ip address since we don't want the ip address also to be duplicated we can do the same thing i'm going to copy that line paste it right um, under this if condition for instance in computer objects with all if instance that ip address is equal to ip address <coughs> raise from that validation error there is a computer with ip address then the variable will comes in all right so if i type 192.168 or 1.1 the same thing applies there's a computer with the ip address 192.161.1 so this is how you do form validation if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up if you have any correction put them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video